Good evening, I'm Rick Tillery. I'm Trish Close. Thanks for joining us tonight. New details on the men suspected in a drive-by shooting in Central Point Tuesday. Police are still searching for the four suspect. News 10's Katie Connor has more in tonight's Top Story at 6. Trish Nurek, Gabrielle Perez is still on the loose. News 10 looked into exactly who Perez is, and the answer is disturbing. Gabriel Perez, the fourth suspect in Tuesday's drive-by shooting, still on Medford Streets. Perez is no stranger to police. Back in July of 2008, he raped a woman. Now he's a registered sex offender. Because Perez is a convicted sex offender, he has to register where he lives. The last address was on Blue Heron Way in Eagle Point. I talked with the owner of the home and she said she had rented to a different family and she didn't even know who Perez was. It's because he moved but did not register. That offense just two months ago. The last address we had for him was in Medford. Police say Perez ran from the scene after the car he and the other suspects were in crashed. He called a neighbor to pick him up and then drop him off at the Figaro's Pizza in Gold Hill. That's where police say Perez met up with a family member. Have you been in contact with that family member? That part is um, something I can't comment on. The family member took Perez to the hospital. Staff questioned him on what happened and how he sustained those injuries. Um, he was untruthful with them. Staff contacted police but had no reason to hold Perez. What we know is he is last seen in Medford. Why? There has to be something good that comes out of this, right? Jennifer Knutson was a victim in Tuesday's drive-by. The bullet grazed her head and hit her fiancé. I don't have room to discriminate. I don't have room to judge. So, you know, they live their life the way that they live their life. But, you know, think twice before you pull the trigger. Knutson's boyfriend was life flighted up to Portland. With money tight, she's still trying to find a way to get up to be with him. I'm just really thankful to be alive. The Sheriff's Department is putting Perez's picture on a billboard in Medford. It will be on the corner of Biddle and McAndrews Road. Police say they need the public's help to help get them off the streets. Covering your news, Katie Connor, News 10. One of the victims, Eric Dory, is still recovering up in Portland. His jaw was shattered today. The Dory family got more bad news. Eric's mother died from a stroke. Donations are being accepted with help to help with Dory's medical bills. A fund has been set up at U.S. Bank. Donations can be made at any branch. 